Hi everyone, I'm Carlotta Quagliolo, second year PhD student in urban and regional development. My research titled Spatial Biophysical and Economic Assessment related to nature-based solution for coastal urban climate change adaptation, which is developed in collaboration with the Horizon 2020 Unalab project, is supervised by Professor Alessandro Pezzoli and Elena Comina from Politecnico di Torino, by Professor Peter Rebelin from the University of Aveiro in Portugal, and by Professor Marco Bagliani from the University of Torino. Coming to the background of this research, in the coming decade, extreme weather events are considered as the most significant global risk. Indeed, cities are becoming increasingly vulnerable to weather extremes, especially by considering flash flooding events as short duration intensive rainfall. And particularly in the context of climate change, this scenario is exacerbated mainly in coastal urban areas, where compound flooding due to the simultaneous runoff, storm surge and sea level rise requires deepening local knowledge of the flood prone areas. And so climate change impacts, impacts on cities, from physical to economic effects, require changes in urban adaptation planning. And in that context, nature-based solutions are considered as a new planning tool for ecologically sensitive urban development, while playing a crucial role in addressing societal challenges and providing multiple benefits for the supply of urban ecosystem services. In that context, the new challenge for urban planners in thinking about addressing potential climate change impacts effectively is the need for special explicit biophysical and economic assessment related to nature-based solution scenarios implementation. For these reasons, the overall objective of this research, which is completely in line with the Sustainable Development Goal 13, that is climate action, aims at developing a methodology for urban flood risk assessment by showing the important role of ecosystem services to support climate change adaptation planning. And this is why actually dealing with a change in climate is required at European level by the European Adaptation Strategy, which aims to make Europe more climate resilient through the ecosystem-based approaches, and in particular by the Covenant of Nature's Initiative for Climate and Energy that supports cities at the front line of climate change adaptation. And still, considering that even if the IPCC is recognized as a global scientific reference on climate change knowledge, this kind of information is usually too broad or disciplinary to directly inform decision makers at local scale. For doing that, a spatially integrated evaluation method which combines geographic information system tools with the inverse modeling has been employed. Specifically, the model used is the urban flood risk mitigation, which basically solves the empirical representation of the hydrological aspects for estimating runoff production and retention ability of cities in the face of extreme rainfall. And overall, the resulting spatial index provides firstly a picture of the vulnerability pattern in which opportunity spaces for nature-based solution localization have been identified. Secondly, the environmental assessment in terms of biophysical values and thirdly, the economic assessment in terms of avoided costs related to nature-based solutions implementation. The application of this methodology is conducted on the coastal lagoon case of study in Portugal, the city of Aveiro, and on the coastal city of Genova in Italy. This spatial integrated approach is scenario-based, since it is characterized by simulating different scenarios. The adaptation scenarios simulate biophysical and economic impacts in a business as usual situation, which is the base scenario, and in the future scenarios as a result of diffuse implementation of nature-based solutions. Each of these scenarios is characterized by different flood return period in relation to the fluvial flood hazard, while 2050 is the future climate change scenario considered for both hazards, the fluvial flood and the coastal flood. So thank you for your attention.